Hi everyone, it's Cheryl the Craft Nut 32 and I'm here today to share with you a card I'm making for my husband. It's an anniversary card. Our anniversary is on Monday. So I'm starting off in, our, in my Silhouette software. I'm creating the front size of an A2 size card. So I'm creating a box that is four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. I am going to open up my Silhouette library and pull out this heart puzzle. I have loved these heart puzzles for a long time, so I thought this is the perfect opportunity to use it. I got it from the online Silhouette store. So it comes with two, so I've ungrouped it, I've deleted the one I'm not going to use, and I've regrouped the remaining puzzle. I have given it the color of gray. I like working with gray and black a lot more than red. And I am making the line weight a little thicker. Right now I'm centering it in the middle of that card, and um, I'm going to now go ahead and create the sentiment on the front of the card I'd like to use. So I've chosen the beautiful Dreamer sketch font for this and I am typing out I'm incomplete without and now I'm going to choose the beautiful Dreamer basic font and type out you. Um, so with the I'm incomplete without I have chosen to create it black. I have given some line thickness to 0 0.5 I believe and I have now filled in the U with black and changed the line color as well. So I've done that just so the I'm incomplete without U will show up when I print this page. And the U part I have um, grouped with the first part of the sentiment so I can just get it sized properly on the front of the card. However, I do want that U to be a little bit bigger than the I'm incomplete without. So I fixed that a little bit, and now I'm just aligning that to the center of the card. I have grouped everything together. I have moved it up to the top right corner of the card, or of my mat, sorry. My mat size is 8.5 by 11, which is the size of the printer paper I'm about to use. I am sending that off to my printer, and I have now ungrouped everything, duplicated it, and... Um, I'm moving the heart puzzle off to the side and I'm going to remove the um, sentiment there off to the side. So I moved it up to the top corner so that when I print it, it's exactly in the center of what I want the eight and a half, sorry, by the A2 size card, the four and a quarter by five and a half. So by moving it up to the top right corner, I have it printed so I, when I cut it at the five and a half mark, it will score perfectly with what I want in the center. So here I am creating the inside of my card. I would like it to say happy anniversary. I have chosen the beautiful Dreamer sketch font once again. I have ungrouped everything and then regrouped it positioned the way I'd like it. Here I am grouping everything with the front of the card and aligning its center. I again, I'm moving it to the very top right corner of that page so I can print it and have it centered in my A2 size card. So now that it's printed, I moved it off to the side and I am pulling my puzzle and my sentiment, the little U, onto my mat so I can cut them out with my silhouette. Um, looking at that U, I realized the Y-O-U were not actually touching and since I wanted it to be one cute little sentiment, I have opened my offset window. I have created a very small offset um, just so that everything will be touching. Once that is done, I'm rem removing the U and I'm going to use the offset because I think it will cut just a little nicer. I have it ready to go and here I am sending it to my silhouette stuff, to my silhouette rather. So now that it's all cut, I am taking it off of the mat and I'm going really slowly. Those little pieces in between the puzzle pieces um, are really sticking to the mat. It's kind of a newer mat. So I'm taking the time and I'm just cutting it as I go, so nothing that I don't want pulled up. Um, so what something won't pull up and rip is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so I have a couple other little things on the mat there that I tried to cut, didn't really work out. But now I am lifting off that U that I created and I'm just going to pick out the last of the lines between those puzzle pieces. So now that's all done, I'm going to move it off to the side, pull out my paper trimmer, pull out that 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock that I printed everything out on, and I'm going to cut it at the 5.5 mark, creating my perfect 8.5, or sorry, A2 size card. Next, I'm going to grab my bone folder and um, 
fold this card, giving it a good, nice, crisp um, crease. And on both sides, I should have grabbed my score pal, um, but I didn't. So this is what I've chose to do. Next, I am going to place the puzzle pieces into the puzzle that I printed. And I did that just so that it would be perfectly centered as I glued everything down. I've left everything on my mat so that it would just be easy. I'd know exactly where it needed to go. And so now I'm just going to glue, glue all those puzzle pieces onto the front of my card. Now that the front of the card is complete, I'm going to open it up and work on the inside. I've saved that last puzzle piece that I'm going to glue down right beside my sentiment, leave it there for my husband, and that will complete my card for the day. I am really happy with how it turned out. I love that puzzle and the personalized you, and the inside is really cute too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye!